for, I would say, probably three and a half years. I've been teaching courses for almost five years. And um, I found, I think, a big platform by happenstance. I was tired of everything else. I had built out completely on WordPress. I had built out on other platforms. And I was just looking for a platform that I can make it look how I want it to look, and make it do what I want it to do, and just have a great experience for my students, because that was my main thought. I want these people to have a great experience when using that platform. Just be able to flow through it, not wonder where to click next, like all of the things. And I found the Gipic, and so I've been using it forever. <laughs> and always just loving, first of all, the team. They're amazing. Yeah. 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 And the product really matches up to that. So it's just an amazing experience all around for the instructor and for students as well. And so that's what I love most about it. And I create like crazy. So um, one day, I was showing a video of my school, this was years ago, and they found it and they were like, how the heck are we doing this with our class? I was like, I don't know. I just made it do what I wanted it to do. <laughs> and so they were like, well, we need you on as an expert. And I was like, okay. <laughs> that works, but what I get to do is help other people just really understand course content, because it's scary, right? When you're first putting your stuff out there, you're like, well, what do I use? How do I make it look good? How do I you know, do all the things? And it can be a lot. So really helping someone else figure out that and move over the hurdle of just having an idea to a full course is just an amazing experience. So I get to you know, do that. I hold my heart because I do everything for my heart. <laughs> but yeah. Awesome. So why don't we talk a little bit about what you actually teach through your courses and how you got to those topics. Sure thing. So I really teach people how to be confident on camera and kill video. <laughs> really, right? Because I feel like it's a, people forget that it's a heart-to-heart -heart connection that you're making with somebody else on the other end. And we start thinking about crazy things like, no, but you know, nobody wants to hear what I have to say, or, you know, I don't look good enough, or the things that we do not need to be concerned about. So I kind of demystify all of that good stuff and help you really connect with that camera so the other person can feel that connection, which really helps with content, it helps with marketing and sales. So I do this for course creators, because that's where my passion is, just people understanding how to use courses or how to use video in their courses and their marketing and all of that stuff to create a genuine connection, because people love, I mean, people want to get to know, like, and trust you, right? And so when you're able to do that through video, it's different from reading something. I get so many people coming to me every day because they watch my content online. So it's like coming to a friend. <laughs> you know, they already know you, they already trust you, they already like you. They already feel your vibe. I'm big on that, that vibe, right? <laughs> so you know if you don't want to work with me, which is cool, and you know if you want to work with me. So video is so powerful in that way. So I teach video, <laughs> in a nutshell. <laughs> and so you use a lot of video in your marketing, like on social media and out there, but you also use it in your courses. Yeah. So maybe let's talk a little bit about, like, is there a difference in between the video types that you create? Like, what does an educational video look like, and why do you recommend course creators use video? Well, it's kind of like what I said before. That's a great question, Emily. Okay, thank you. Um, that's a great, a great, it's definitely a great question. People learn differently, right? So video is, it's a way to communicate and really get your point across. It's kind of like, you know what I like saying? If you, if someone gets into your course and you just have a slide up, it's kind of like putting something, it's kind of like me sitting behind that door saying, hello there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what about if I greeted you, if you walked into my store and I said hello? We all want to feel special, right? So when you have a course, if you welcome your people and you let them know what to expect and you know what we're going to dive into, it's such a different connection. Okay guys, welcome back. This is the inside of one of my courses. And like I said, I'm sharing because I couldn't find an example. So this is actually a video content type. And now I'm moving over to another video. And then I'm gonna move over to show you what a PDF looks like in the platform. 
and you can see that you're able to upload full PDFs and you're also able to prevent people from downloading your PDFs, which I think is very important if you want to protect your work in that way. Another thing that I really like is that you have your separate modules and here I have some more videos. So I have some videos and then I head over to a presentation. This is one of my favorite content types inside of Thinkific. I'm able to talk over a presentation, kind of like a voiceover, and I think it is so genius and I use it so much. And you're also able to, and you're also able to upload unlimited videos to the video library. If your videos are too big, you can use Handbrake, and I will add that down below in the description box. But I love that I'm able to teach my students how to use video in their business through videos. That is just amazing and they love it as well. Thinkific is always updating their platform or always creating new ways for you to work within their platform and that is something that I truly love. So I just really wanted to show you guys what it would look like inside the platform if you decided to build a course on Thinkific. So you can upload different content types, you can upload PDFs like we saw, you can upload videos, you can upload so many different things. If you want me to go over or give an in-depth review on content types, I would need to know that down below. So let me know that you want it or you wanna see it and I can definitely create a video where I talk more about these content types as well. All right, guys, I know this was a pretty long video, but I want to thank you for hanging out with me and for just being interested in seeing what Thinkific has to offer and what the insides of my courses might look like if you do join the Start, Shoot, Grow Video Academy. I'm so happy to have you here. Definitely head over to startshootgrow.com or check me out at zillybarclay.com. Take care.